What is going on everyone? It's Brody back in to answer another tennis question. And today's tennis topic is going to be about club level players. Now, a lot of people can get confused about what exactly a club player is, but here all you really need to know is that club level players, think of them as people who have played for a long time or even played for relatively a short amount of time, but they belong to a club and they have decided that they want to play in a bit more competitive matches rather than in those extreme tournaments like you see the pros playing in. So a lot of club level players, they have played for a few years or they they played for a few years, they took a break and then they came back to the sport and they're both looking to both play recreationally as well as just play a bit more competitively because they love the game and they just really want something to do that's going to light that competitive fire up in them again in a sport that they love throughout most of their life. So club level players, they have this all around type capability. You have some and a lot of people will use a rating system for what the different levels of tennis are. You have some that range from like 3.5, sometimes a three, which is pretty basic for a fully grown adult and you're just starting into tennis, all the way up to 4.5 to 5.0s and maybe even a 5.5. Now this system is based off a off of a 1 to a 7.0. So there's a lot of discrepancy here and in between. That's where you can really find your specific level so you're that so that you're playing with people that are around your same skill level and you're not just <coughs> excuse me. You're not just playing against someone who just started tennis if you've been playing for 10 15 years and you absolutely demolish them take making it so that they never want to play tennis again. That's not fun. And we don't want to do that. We want everyone to enjoy playing tennis because it's the greatest sport of all time. There you go. I said it. Yeah, you can quote me on that. So with club level players, you can usually expect that most of the time you're going to get pretty good competition. Some of the people, they will have a bit more tactics that you won't really ever see. So playing against multiple different players that all belong to the same club is one of the greatest opportunities because that will allow you to then go forward and play against a bunch of different skill sets that you've never tried out against. You learn how to play against lefties, people with right hand, right handed forehands, you have a lot of slice, you have people with amazing kick serves, you have people with amazing power, you have people with the utmost precision, you have it all wrapped around into one. So you really can pick and choose based on who you wanna play, based off what you're really looking for in your game. Now, a lot of the times club level players, they will also take personalized lessons at their club. That can be with the private coaches, which is usual, or sometimes even outside private coaches. I've had a few people that I've talked with that they were at their specific tennis club, and then they actually went to the Patrick Mortoglu, sorry if I mispronounced the name wrong, but it's always for some reason been hard for me to pronounce, they went to the Patrick Mortoglu Academy out in out in Europe, and they actually went there to just learn even more, get better, because there was a little bit better coaching at that academy than where they were. So you're not you are not stuck at one club for the entirety of your life. If you decide, oh, I'm gonna sign up for that one over there, and then you realize later on you're like. This wasn't necessarily the best choice for me. I don't feel like this is home. I don't feel like this is working with me. The coaches, I don't necessarily agree with everything. So you can try different clubs. There's nothing wrong with that. You just want to find a club that really feels like home to you. You have a good amount of people that you can talk with and have and can play with consistently and just make sure that you're having a fun time at the club. Most of the time, the clubs are there to not only facilitate tennis because they have indoor courts, outdoor courts, hard courts, clay courts usually. I don't really ever see many with a grass court. I am sure, I know they exist, but I haven't seen many personally myself. It's mainly just hard court, indoor, hard court, outdoor, outdoor clay, and sometimes indoor clay. But a lot of times the clubs are there so that you can play tennis almost year round with people that you know or people that you don't know so you can get better as well as they have a bunch of different amenities like a workout room, a swimming pool, a sauna. Some have a daycare if you need to, if you need to just take your kids with you because you couldn't find a babysitter. Clubs have a lot to offer and that's where I think a lot of people really will 
just become more enjoy, find more enjoyment in tennis is by joining a club and finding that group of people that you really click with, that you are always playing with so that you all know you have a fun group. You can go out, play with, have a good time. And sometimes even go get a drink at the bar if you're feeling like it and you're of age, of course. I'm not saying anyone below the age should be drinking. Don't do that. That's illegal. We are not. We do not support illegality here. Now, if you are above age and you want to have a drink, as long as you got someone driving you home, go for it. You guys can have as much fun as you want. You're adults. Good luck. But that's really the main thing about clubs and club level players. It's people who have either been out of the sport for a while and are coming back in. They played forever and they want to say maybe join a league because there's they want a bit more competition than the people they just find randomly, as well as just fostering a sense of community with wherever you are so that people know that they're not alone in enjoying this great sport that we all know and love. The clubs are there and the club level players are oh, are everywhere. You just have to take the time, find a club that you like, find the people that you like playing with, and then go out, play, have some fun, and have a great time. So with that being said, if you like the video, leave a like on it. Comment down below any more questions you have about club level players or just club tennis in general. I'll be sure to get back to that as soon as I can. And subscribe to the channel so we can get this information out from the people who have it to the people who need it. There's a lot of misinformation in the tennis community so I took it upon myself to make sure that I could make this channel so that we could get rid of all of that. So with that all being said, like the video, comment down below, subscribe, share this video with a friend if they're thinking about joining a club and they may not know what to do or why they should even join. And as always, take care.